it's all very pretty. This is um, velvet bottom now. There's lots of, well, this I've done it all before. This is all the the result of um, the mining. And it was very black and nasty here, by the way. It might look pretty now, it wasn't. It was foul air, bad working conditions, um, full of slag, lead poisoning. Now this bit here, this bit here has probably been added to it as well, but this is a the Roman settlement. Well, here and all over there as well. Like I said, I haven't been all round everywhere where the smelting furnaces are or anything because um, the kilns, because um, I've done it all before. I've got, I've, do, I've got videos. I've been all over there in detail, all round there, in and out everywhere I've been. All in at the trees, all in round I've sit where the potholes are. I've been up this side, I've been down that side, so I've done it all. This is just my walk home, really, on a very pleasant summer's day, the 14th of July 2016, the day after Daisy's birthday. Daisy knows all about this place. I don't know whether Amber's been here. I think George's came to Charter House. Um, I'm not sure about Duncan and Jolene, but I know Daisy's been here. She knew this place. She was familiar with it all, the walk around, the walks. And, uh, like I say, this is all the Roman bit. There are bits of Roman stuff you can see here and there. Probably easier in the winter. Yeah, it's full of history. But it's a lovely day and I'm just enjoying the sun. I'm not sure if that very last video came out. Because I was, um... I had it on the wrong setting, but sometimes it works, even on the wrong setting, but it might come out really big or small, <laughs> you know, so. It was just one video, I, I tw twisted the dial around too many times. Yeah, this is all these um, lumps and bumps are all to do with the lead mining that went on. The landscape has been sculptured by man, carving it up for its resources. And they do warn you, especially over that side, to be careful because although they've covered up a lot of the potholes and mine shafts, um, they're, 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 they're everywhere, everywhere. Yes, we're going on a very pleasant walk. You can, like I said, when I came before, I went all the way around, you know. Um, I've even cycled over here in the past. I've cycled up that road, for example. We've gone cycled down Cheddar Gorge. Um, I'm hoping to get fitter again to get some of that ability back um, after to me, which I blame on the boat trip, caused me to have difficulty breathing for a while. But I've got details of all that. The um, problems I had. There's a big bunch of walkers ahead of me, carrying loads of gear. Well, some people do camp out, you know. Now, see that little place there? It's a nice place to sit, isn't it? Imagine a little group of people you get your class out and you all sit down, everybody sits around. Hopefully they don't get ticks. And you sit there, the sheep shelter here, and you can give a lesson on the Romans and the landscape all around. There's an entrance down there to one of the the mines, I think. Could be a waterway, but I think there's some of them are are fenced in. I can see my big oak tree right over there. I'm gonna take some pictures of it when I get a bit closer. Yeah, people do park over here so that they can 
enjoy the, the countryside. It's absolutely gorgeous, it really is. I mean, the sun is so warm now. All those horrible dark clouds have gone now. There's a lovely one there, like cotton wool, isn't it? So this is Velvet Bottom all the way along here. Place of outstanding beauty. Like I say, I normally come on the bus and have a day's walk. I was going to do a lot more today. And I'm glad but I haven't got the bus today because quite often I have to go home about five, six, and it's still a lovely evening. I know I've got west and I can walk round, but um, you think, oh, it'd be nice to walk around the gorge in the evening. So I've done it a few times when they had the late buses. I mean, whether they'll change again, I don't know whether they will have late buses again. I mean, that extra two hours that they were allowing the buses up to 10 to 8, I mean, that was brilliant. That allowed people to enjoy the gorge. I mean, the shop should stay open a bit longer. They'd, people would come. We shut everything at 5 o'clock. And there's no one here for the buses to pick up. I've cycled all round here. I went through a period of extreme fitness. Not that, long, not that long ago. 2010, 11, and most of 12 until I had the boat trip when I had the slam bang incident, which compressed something and it caused damage, which is recovering. I wasn't bleeding, I think, but I had severe bruising to the pillars. Um, yeah, it was bad. And I, I couldn't breathe properly after that. It was as if my abdomen had been pushed into my lungs. And um, then I had, three years later, there was this sensation of something being released. Like, something sort of pinched. And um, let go. And there was a sudden sense of being able to breathe. Oh, we'll have one of those. Velvet Bottom Nature Reserve. That's a new board, I think. What to look out for in summer and spring. You can see lizards basking in the dry stone walls to warm up in the sun. Listen to the song of the skylark. A small brown bird that hovers in the sky above the grassland, singing continuously. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Eye bright, wild thyme. Yes, yeah, so like I said, um, leads back to the Roman times. It was mined by the Romans and the Victorians, leaving the buddle pits. Circular washing pits to separate lead oil, or dams and settling bags that can be seen today. The high concentration of lead in the soil prevents most plants from growing, so the floor of the site is unusual, with only specially adapted plants able to survive. Watch out for the sweet-smelling wild thyme and striking eyebright, as well as the more notable alpine pennycress and spring sandwort. Right, over and out then for that for a minute. Right, there's my lovely oak tree back there, behind that small one, the big one. It looks so majestic. It really looks a wreck in the winter. It really looks like it's on its last legs. Anyway, I've just met some people, not lost, but they, what they haven't done is um, organised a circular walk, so they've got to go back the same way. Um, which is just all right if you've not been here before. You just walk back here. Eh? So it's a bit of a walk. It's not a big one, but um, they were surprised when I told them where I'd walked. <laughs> I said, "Yeah, I can wait for the day." 
David, I haven't finished yet. I've got to climb up the other side of the gorge yet. Either way, I've got to climb up the gorge. <sighs> see lots of slag. Evidence of slag, you see. All here. It's everywhere along this velvet bottom. And, uh, yeah, you, uh, I mean, they're parked down at Black Rock, so, you know, there isn't really a walk, you know, that they could do. They would have been better off parking in, which depends how far you want to walk. They could have driven up there, for example, and studied the velvet bottom more, followed the way round and the walk round the, uh, the walks and everything. So they didn't want to do a lot. I'm just doing a little bit more. I mean, like I said, I, I've done it all before. It's all been done thoroughly. I don't know if I've done it with this camera. I can't remember. I do like to come out and do it though. I mean, like I said, there's so many other places in Somerset. It's just that much further away. This is within home distance, really. Um, and I've, it's taken me years to actually even get to the stage of exploring. Um, you don't when you've got a family, when you're working. Um, there's not always the leisure time or the energy. Not only that, when I used to be a runner, jogger, and a swimmer, so I wasn't really into doing country walks. I wouldn't walk anywhere in the past. I used to have to run everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though, I slowed up. God, I just imagine David Bowie then. I watched his program earlier and it said he'd, get, he, you know, he goes down, he was going down to St. Ives for the artists, seeing all the work and everything, and going down that way. So he knew about St. Ives and Cornwall. Of course he did. Donovan and that, and well, I've known to people who don't know about them. St. Ives and its art. Yeah, just imagine that. He'd been in the southwest. He might have even thought of moving down there. You don't know, do you? But, um, he didn't come back to England. He came back for a visit. He didn't come, want to come back. Um, for lots of reasons, tax reasons probably. He started, he had a family in America. He liked New York, he, he liked America. Um, he probably thought we were still all fuddy duddies over here. I don't really know, really. But we've got nowhere to go and visit to place flowers, really, apart from shrines made in Brixham, London, Bromley, where his dad's ashes are, we know that. Um, I need to visit there one day because there might be a plaque. <sighs> I will get round to it. Next time I go to London, I'll probably put that on the first, the, the top of my list. I mean, I thought about getting up there in September um, to do a bit of tree work. But you need two or three hundred quid to go up there just for like three days. You know, I mean, you need you have to get all your transport sorted out and then you need to buy souvenirs. I bet he would have liked Zara's artwork, you know. He was her style. He, was, he painted like Zara. He comes into my conversation all the time. He's been on the walk with me. <sighs> Hello, sheepies. Hello. Yeah, I don't have to face any cows as far as I know. I walk that side or not? Yeah, they, those people would be better off coming this way because it is a bit of a hike along here and back. I mean, I'm doing circular so I don't really notice it. 
to me I'm just doing a big sweep round um, and it could, it could have been even bigger I'd still be two hours behind now if I'd done um, Robert, Robert Hellfort I would only just be making my way across the top of the Mendips now and I could have done it I could have it there was time to do it all but I didn't feel like it I didn't want to I, I didn't want to do it um, and be sort of tied by uh, not because um, there was any bus to catch but uh, I didn't want to overdo it there was enough to do for example I mean the plan wasn't for me to examine Velvet Bottom in detail when I've already done it before you know I didn't feel the need to have to go and look at everything again right over and out everyone let's just do some more photos